there we go, got the camera all sorted out. That took a little bit of efforts and energy. We are on our way, well we being me, I'm on my way to go and get us some lunch. Today is the first day that the radio station is running. Natalia would be saying to me, the radio's on, turn the radio off. So the radio is now off, no Lady Gaga. So the radio station is busy up and running and it's pretty much on automatic pilot. I can from time to time throw requests in, which is really great. So if you have any requests, please feel free to send them in my direction. I made the mistake earlier, Francois Nodia sent me a, a request and I went to put it in and to, in order to do that on the program, I have to take it off autoplay, which I did. I put it onto manual to put the request in and then I forgot to put it back onto autoplay. So unfortunately, three Savage Garden songs played in a row. And Talia said, why are three Savage Garden songs playing? And I said, oh dear, I've forgotten to take it off order play. So that's a lesson learned. Um, the radio station will pretty much run itself from 10 until 10 with a little bit of activity or interactivity from me from time to time in it. But I just want to get the routine of how long 12 hours is because it's running from 10 in the morning till 10 in the evening and how much music I need. And I'm going to be adding new music to the database every single day. So probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 extra songs, just so there's more variety. And if you're a person who enjoys easy listening music and you are someone who likes music from the UK, from South Africa, from America, if you're not that fussed about specific genres, you'll really enjoy it. It's chilled, it's relaxed. The idea is that you can turn it on at home and it doesn't you don't have the desire to turn it off because it's too loud or too aggressive or too anything so it's it's quite middle of the road and that's by design because i want you to i want it to be an alternative to television if you're just busy cooking dinner and you've got a computer near you or your sound system is set up with a computer linked to it that you can just turn it on and basically it's just nice enjoyable music while you're sitting there there are there be i've selected hits basically so you will you will know probably 70, 60 to 70 percent of the music if you're not a music aficionado and I also think it's quite nice to be introduced to new music if you don't necessarily know it. What I've got to still work on is how to get the song to play and the artist to come up because that's not available yet as far as I can see but I'll do some more research this afternoon. But for now just heading off to go and get us some lunch and I will chat to you again later. What is that ahead of me? Is that Father Christmas's chair? So I've been having such a lazy day. I woke up with the biggest headache. It was like over here on my head, stretching all the way back. But I took some painkillers and it slowly receded from my eyebrow and ended up being just like golf ball sized pain that was on the top of my head. And now it is gone. Thank God goodness it was horrible I just like slept for most of the day so I look a bit atrocious actually I kind of look exactly like I normally do but that's fine but what I wanted to show you was John's cute little setup for the radio station he's got going John yeah. come tell them about your radio station setup look how cool this is on the TV John's got projected his little controller thing come tell them about your radio station setup <laughs> John is so excited about this, so it's go been, on. It's been a good first day. So basically at this point, to try and sort out the difference between the DJing side, which is in the study, and the radio, I've got the radio set up, I've got a LAN cable running from there all the way through to our router. So that's what sends the music to the, to the UK, and then from the UK it gets split. So as you connect to the radio station, you're connecting in the UK, but I'm sending the signal from South Africa to the UK. So, and there's the playlist that basically, it's gonna grow over time, but it's on autoplay. So the DJing has an autoplay function, which I push over here, and then it just randomly chooses the songs from the playlist that I've created. So that's basically it. And the LAN cable that John's talking about runs from behind the TV, all the way around the perimeter of the room, woo, all the way, excuse the mess, down here, along the wall, behind the table, to our router over here. It's quite a journey. It's like 
the journey of the extra long land cable. When we went into the shop, we said to the guy, can we please have a 17 meter long land cable? And he went seven meters. And we're like, no, 17 meters. And the look on his face was like, are you people mad? What are you doing with it? Are you trying to route the internet to the moon? And in the spirit of it being Vlogmas, I thought I'd show you guys what we got yesterday at the crazy store for our Christmas tree. So we got these little decorations, which are really cute. They're little stars and balls and little mini drums. Pum pum pum. So that's really cute. And then we got these cute little wooden. What are they? Like little. Oh, they're also drums. Some more pum pum pums to hang on the tree. And some jingle bells that don't jingle, thank goodness. I can just see our cats are going to get into this lot. So that's the little bells. And then John and I each chose a stocking. So I got the one with the little Santa Claus on it. And John got the one with the little Christmas tree on it. So those are cute. Those will go on our bookshelf until Christmas Eve when we go through to my parents. Because we'll be there for Christmas Eve. And then at John's parents on Christmas Day. And then of course we got... A wreath for our front door. We've never had a wreath before, so this is very exciting stuff. We'll probably, I think the tradition is that you hang these things up like 12 days before Christmas. Does that make it the 12th of December or the 13th? Is it 12 days before Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Someone let us know in the comments down below. But anyway, we're planning to decorate the tree and hang all this stuff up 12 days before. So whenever you guys tell us, that is. <laughs> So last night for dinner, I did a pork belly roast with crackling on it and John liked it so much that he went out to the shop today and bought another pork belly roast. So I'll be cooking this for dinner tonight. I'm gonna start that now. It takes about an hour and a half to cook. And with that, we'll be doing some creamed spinach and broccoli, being healthy, and pumpkin fritters or pumpkin cookies as we call them in South Africa. So. I'm gonna get started with that because it is already seven o'clock. So it looks like we'll be having a late dinner, but we don't mind in the summers too much because it is so hot during the day that you actually don't want to eat until it's like, I don't know, 8.30ish. So once the sun's gone down. That is it for today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas day three. Hope you have an awesome day. Bye.